And you know, bending down's a bitch at my size. All right guys, welcome back to Gas Tax. I'm Warwick and this is the Dream Garage build out. So right behind me are all my Sonic tools and cabinets that I ordered. Um, today is a scorcher, so it's about 95 to 100 a day. I am gonna melt and die. So before we get started, I need to hang this ceiling or hang this fan right there and run power to it. what the garage will look like. This is what we're going for. My plan is to put a TV here. Uh, a lot of people say TVs are pointless in the garage. I don't know, I watch a lot of YouTube and I'll probably just hang out here. I know this is out of stock so I don't have this. Hopefully I'll still be able to put um, one of the countertops over there. But yeah, stay tuned. I am going to start a time lapse of unpacking all of that and see how it goes. into the garage we're gonna start staging it but it uh, looks like uh, I was a little excited and I ordered the wrong cabinet so these are double door cabinets 36 inches I ordered the uh, 24 inch single door not a problem right now we're still gonna install it as if I had the double doors but we're gonna use the single doors if the single doors work I don't need to buy the double doors if the double doors Rarely uh, hit me in my nightmares, I will order them. All right, so we ran into a little bit of a dilemma or, uh, you know, critical time to make a decision. This is the height of the cabinet up to my nipples, if you ever want to put my nipples into perspective. That's if we don't cut off the stock feet. Cutting off the stock feet is a lot of work, but it's doable. They are welded on there. Behind those stock feet are these adjustable legs. This is actually like a knuckle joint. So I try to unscrew the foot to see if I could just buy extra long bolt and do that. But anyways, this is a, a super high cabinet right now, which I'm fine with for sitting, I mean standing and working. I'll just get a high stool. It'll make my life easier. And you know, bending down's a bitch at my size. I'm just gonna get longer, I don't know what this is. This is a bolt, but you get a whole rod. I don't know, like a four foot rod of the, of the bolt. And I would have to make two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve extra feet. So, what I'm gonna do for now is set the cabinets up uh, along the wall so you can see what it is. Then maybe run to the hardware store, see if I can get a bunch of these, and on to the next step. Boxes are emptied, 
Uh, here are the cabinets. Obviously it's uh, less impressive than, well, to me it's less impressive than one's imagination, but there's a lot more to come. There's still the top cabinets that are going up. They're in these brown boxes. A TV that will still go up. I'm thinking uh, 56 inches. Watch a lot of YouTube as well, huh? And then if I decide to get the bigger cabinets, there's enough space that will fit on that side and that side and I will put these somewhere else in the garage to clean up all the other crap I have. I think it's hardware store time and I think it's lunch time. So downside of buying Sonic is it's all metric and no one ever carries metric. Uh, so this is through with but we only have enough for two legs we need 16. <laughs> So right here is like $29 or something. <laughs> so uh, on to the next hardware store. Well, two additional stores, Home Depot and Advanced Auto Parts don't have anything. So uh, looks like this series is gonna be many more videos. <laughs> Lunch time's over. I got another shirt on, third shirt for the day. Yep, it's hot as hell. We've unpacked everything. I did just get a package from Obsessed Garage, or three of them. Uh, but I'm gonna leave those until the next episode. Let's get you up to speed. This lip here is seven inches from the ground there. There's a slope in the garage. The lip is not sloped. And then this is uh, eight and a three quarters off the ground. Now we're trying to figure out the extensions we need for the cabinets. We need it basically to look like this in real time. <laughs> so we just have super long front ones. I don't think they'll look too good, but I don't want to cut these cabinets. So here is uh, all the math to figure all that out. So basically what it's come down to is I need six to 6.75 extensions or seven and three quarters to eight and a half extensions from this side to that side. Amazon, you're gonna steal more of my pennies. So that's a wrap for the day. We're gonna call it quits so we throw away all this crap. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe and tune in to next episode so you can see, I guess, a more complete version of this. That's the goal at least. If it's not more complete, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Anyways, thanks a lot.